If you're someone like me who shoots with two systems, one obviously being Fuji and the other is Sony, and every time you shoot with your Sony, the colors just seem to be a little bit off. So you end up missing your Fujifilm simulations and those Fuji colors. The Fuji colors, man. Well, if you're someone like that, this video is for you, my friend. So I've discovered these picture profiles by Cobalt Image. Well, technically I didn't discover them. Some of you guys have mentioned them to me before saying how this could help with your Sony RAW. You can use these picture color profiles from Cobalt Image to transform your Sony colors into Fujifilm colors. Now full transparency, I did ask Cobalt for a pack so I can do this comparison video for you guys. I'm going to compare the Sony a7 IV with the Cobalt pack against my Fujifilm X-H2S. So I just wanna say thank you to Cobalt Image for providing me with the color profiles so I can make this uh, video happen. Through my findings and comparing uh, both RAWs, I can say that the Cobalt picture profile is the closest that I've seen that emulates the Fujifilm's uh, film simulations very very well like it's crazy good now why am i talking about this well when you shoot with sony the colors aren't as good sony's at the bottom of the list when it comes to colors it can be a bit time consuming trying to fix your sony raw colors in post the colors always feel a bit off and no matter how hard you try you can't get it just right for your taste but you just live with that result and because of that you start to miss your Fuji colors, your Canon colors, whatever colors that you may have. And that's where Cobalt Image comes in. Cobalt? Cobalt. They create color profiles that matches the Fujifilm GFX 100S and the X-Pro2. They have color profiles from Leica's, you have the Leica monochrome pack and more. So I highly recommend you guys check out their website once you finish this video. I'll leave the information down below for you guys. They do some crazy work after testing this uh, prof these color profiles. I'm a believer now, these guys are legit. What we're going to do is we're gonna do a blind test, okay? Sony RAWs applied with the Cobalt imaging uh, color profiles. What I'm using is the Fujifilm GFX 100S color film simulations. So we're gonna compare that against um, the Fujifilm X-H2S with the Fujifilm RAWs. Now obviously it's not a one-to-one -one comparison. I had to do some minor tweaking, just very, very minor though. Certain film simulations need um, tweaking from the Cobalt image pack to make it look as close to the, the Fujifilm X-H2S but for some, I didn't need to do any tweaking at all. Uh, Cobalt Image also left me a few tips in order to make your colors as close to the Fuji RAWs as, as you can. Number one, always do a white balance after the color profiles have been applied. Number two, if you compare uh, Provia film simulation from your Fuji camera with our Provia film simulation on the Sony, please remind your viewers that ours is based on a wider gamut basic profile, so it will be correct by colors as the white balance is perfectly matched by the raw. But the contrast could be different and it could need minimal adjustments to match the original output. That happens if we compare raw versus raw. But if the original output is a JPEG, it's quite hard to find the correct white balance applied with the conversion engine of the Fuji camera. So only lab pictures would be, would be perfect matching if shot under a controlled illuminant perfectly matches the white balance. And number three, the GFX and the X-Pro packs have different colors. The latter is subtle compared to the medium format camera. The color signature of the Fuji emulation is just a starting point. You will have the extreme freedom in editing once applied the starting point of your choice. Uh, so without further ado, this is the blind test. Please have a paper and pen out to see which one you got right. So what do you guys think? Close enough? 
close enough. I honestly think Cobalt Image has the closest color reproduction to get you as close to your beloved Fujifilm simulations by far. Now this is a game changer right here guys. For the people who missed their Fuji colors because they moved on to a different uh, system, I think this uh, color pack can help you out for your needs. For anyone that never shot with Fujifilm before and you're curious about what everybody is talking about when it comes to Fuji colors, go ahead and check this pack out. So ideally what I wanted to do is to go out and uh, shoot portraits with my Sony a7 IV to see how good the colors are. But the weather has been very awful here in the Algarve lately. I think there's like a freaking hurricane in, in the middle of the Atlantic Oceans and we're getting some of that right here. Because of that, we had some crazy floods in Lisbon and here in the Algarve as well. Once the weather clears up, I'm gonna take my Sony a7 out, a7 IV out for a spin. And from there, I'm gonna try these uh, color profiles out. And hopefully I'll film some behind the scenes for that video as well. Do me a favor guys and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see that video or Fujifilm and photography related content on this channel. Let me know what you guys think of this uh, color profile pack. Do you guys think that this is close or do you guys think this is not close at all? Hope you guys have a happy holidays and a merry new year. Once again, my name is Tung and I'll see you in the next video. All right, hey guys. So I may have uh, lied to you about my community post when I did the guess the film simulation because I, <laughs> I was trying to trick you guys. I know I was being a little troll. Some of you guys figured it out or some of you guys thought it was a Sony. I don't know if you guys were trolling me or you guys were being serious about it, but um, yeah, past week when I was uh, sharing my photos and I was asking you guys to guess the film simulations, they were all shot by Sony and they were all, and all the color picture profiles was used from Cobalt image. Some of you guys couldn't tell. You guys actually thought it was a film simulation. But then again, I wasn't being honest. I don't know if that counts for anything or like if that's gonna like skew the numbers up a little bit, but yeah. No one said anything about this image looking too sharp. They're like, this doesn't look, this looks like Sony colors or does it look like Sony colors? None of, none of, none of, none of that. Or it has that clinical look. I think the only way that you could tell is if you look at the, the bokeh properly, you could tell that they weren't shot on a Fuji lens or a Fuji <laughs> Fuji system because the bokeh looks a lot different on a full frame system than a, and then a Fuji system. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Um, I'm sorry that I did that to you. I promise I won't do that again. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. But yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Love you.